Good afternoon to all my wonderful viewers out there. Welcome back to another episode of Streetwear Talk, the series where we talk about the latest streetwear releases, the latest streetwear news, and well, of course, just streetwear in general. In today's episode, we have to talk about a nice little collaborative capsule. Yes, we are going to be covering the upcoming Kith Ralph Lauren Fall Winter Capsule that is releasing in the next 24 hours. <laughs> Some of you are probably like, Daniel, you're slacking off, bro. You're not even getting that sneakers and stuff episode done. I'm trying. I'm trying. Guys, look, I would have not done this streetwear talk video today if the if the capsule was coming out like next week. I wouldn't have done it. I would have primarily focused on episode 10 here. But Ronnie Feig wanted to throw me a curveball here in the streetwear world and was like, you know what? I'm going to announce a capsule coming out the next day. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm dealing with what we've got. But to update you guys, I've written like, like two and a half, it's gonna be easily three and a half pages long uh, to, of, the, of that episode. So episode 10 will be a big one. I'm hoping to go to work, come back from work, and then we can, well then I can, you know, record, edit, and upload that episode. It's gonna be a long night tonight. I hope I can honestly wake up early tomorrow to do a uh, Supreme's drop list video. God, yeah, jeez so much going on in the streetwear fashion and sneaker world and yeah we're going to be talking about one of its latest additions which is this capsule yes kith is doing a capsule with ralph lauren now i'm very excited by this because the initial teaser images for it were a bunch of ralph lauren teddy bear knits now you guys know i love my ralph lauren teddy bear knits i've only got one mainly because the price of them is so expensive i would be wearing it for today's video but uh it's 30 degrees outside celsius which is uh like 85 degrees fahrenheit for any of you americans out there watching and um it's not knit sweater weather that's uh i'm okay i'm okay in my white tee we're all right <laughs> i do not want to wear a knit but in saying that the knits that i have seen from this capsule, oof, oof, I'm keen. I'm so keen. Why can't I just be rich so I can buy everything? Because <laughs> God damn, there is some crazy stuff in here. And we're going to be covering exactly that. We're going to be covering everything that we can see in this capsule from the editorial. Because classic Keith, they're not showcasing the whole collection to us in like a... Um, like a nice little package, you know, of images and stuff like that. Unfortunately, they're showcasing the collection to us with a bunch of models wearing it. So we'll see what we can pick from the models' outfits here and see what is coming in this collection. Now, as I mentioned, this collection is dropping in less than 24 hours. So we'll cover all the release details as well, just so you guys can stay informed if you are interested in picking up any of the pieces from this capsule. Now, how we're going to cover everything that is releasing in this capsule, all the release details, and of course my thoughts and opinions on the capsule, is by using Kith's supplied images on their news post. We'll head on over there now and we'll start reading all the release details and everything that they've talked about in the article now. So let's go head on over there and read this article we are guys now of course if you guys want to check out any of the images check out anything this article has to say you know you want to give it a read yourself it'll be as always linked in that description section below for you guys to read there let's dive into this article that was literally posted less than 13 hours ago and implies in the last sentence that it's releasing tomorrow so aka today time zones are confusing but it does has a drop it does have a drop time and everything so everyone can figure out when it's dropping for them but let's dive into it so keith editorial for the polo ralph loren exclusive capsule posted on november 10th 2020. Keith is proud to offer a special capsule from polo ralph loren together we create exclusive versions of some of the brand's most iconic designs featured featured on classic silhouettes the historical polo bear is seen throughout sweaters and hoodies while the American flag is featured on a mock neck and denim trucker jacket. Each style is offered in specific colors and fabrics exclusive to Kith, which is very interesting. I'm wondering what materials they're going to be using there. While a Kith label accompanies the interior collar, the footwear component for this collection highlights the iconic polo sport suede mountain sneaker, while it depicts an, a flag graphic rubber patch at the tongue and heel with a rubber polo lettering at the toe. 
So that would be the thing that this chick is wearing here. Polo Rafflerin exclusive capsule for Kith is releasing tomorrow exclusively at Kith shops and at 11 a.m. Eastern Standard Time on Kith.com. So thank God there is an online option for worldwide consumers of Kith like me. So 11 a.m. is that drop time, Eastern Standard Time. Convert that to your time zone, guys, and then you can figure out when it's dropping online. Or if you're lucky enough and you've got a Kith store that's close to you, you can just scroll head on down there tomorrow i don't know what time zone it is for you right now and you can pick it up there so it will be releasing on the 11th of november 2020 obviously because it says tomorrow and this article was written on the 10th there uh each style though which this is like the big thing each style will be limited to 250 units 250 that's across all the kith stores and the online stores Yikes. Just to break that down, if we have small, medium, large, extra large, and 2XL, the five sizes, right? Hypothetically, if Kith has gone, okay, we'll do 50 of each, that means each size is only going to have 50 available each of these pieces. Now, that's a big hypothetical. That's saying that Kith has equally done 50 pieces for each size. A more likely scenario is not too many of the smaller size not too many of the bigger size and more of the medium large and extra large sizing there because that's generally what brands will do because there'll be more demand for that middle section of sizes there but i don't know maybe kith will be fair and do 50 of each but either or either way that is not a lot that is not a lot of quantity there uh the retail price is going to be incredibly high because it's kith and ralph lauren coming together Oh, I can't I, ugh. again. I'll repeat what I said at the start of the video God damn I wish I was rich because then I'd actually one be able to afford it and two be able to buy most of this <laughs> Although in saying that it is gonna get botted it is gonna sell out This is gonna be incredibly hard to come by which is really sad because I love the teddy bear knits I think we all do. It's just really hard to come by man. They're really hard to come by Well, that's everything that the article has to say about it there. Um, all we have to do now is to dive into the editorial, dive into all these images there, and see how the pieces look and see what is releasing in this capsule, guys. So let's have a look at what is releasing. Well, unfortunately as well, Kif doesn't actually let me zoom into the images. I, I'm, I'm clicking on them now, it doesn't let me go any bigger, and uh, unfortunately if I try and zoom in with the browser, it scales the image. So the image, you know, fits to the size of the browser. So it doesn't just get bigger and bigger. So it's like, God damn it, Kith, you don't make it easy either. <laughs> so this is the best view that we really have of it. So to start it off with, we can see that this chick is wearing a very nice green colored um, polo bear knit. I can't really see what it's actually wearing on it. It kind of looks like a tuxedo and it's holding a bunch of stuff. Hard to tell. But we can see these, uh, what was it, the sport suede mountain sneakers that was referred to in the article here. We can see them down here. Let's keep diving further into the images to get some better looks at it. I really like the color of this knit. I'm not usually a huge fan of green, but this is a really nice green. And when you put it on a knit, I'm kind of sold because I'm obsessed with knits. Knits are amazing. Wearing them with a collared shirt is exactly how I would wear them. Argo pants maybe not so much but it's not exactly you know for the workplace i would wear knits and button-up shirts in the workplace i can't see this bottom half being for the workplace here it looks like it's more for a uh, mountain walk or something like that but yeah no steezy love the suede uh boots here love the knit hopefully we get a zoom in of it oh yes here we go this is really good i really love this piece so we can see the iconic ralph lauren teddy bear here chillin in is it kind of looks like a button-up tee bow tie and then maybe like a nightgown i hate that it's folded it's not making it easier to tell what it is but I, either way i really like this I, I need to go on the hunt for the um palace skateboards ralph lauren knits because those were crazy these are crazy i would love to just have a collection of them because they're just such a solid easy piece to wear and they work with both men and women regardless of your size like, it, it, me as a big guy as like a 6'6 six, six guy i can still wear them they look amazing i usually have to go with a 2xl one but it doesn't matter because yeah they just work so so well it's such a timeless piece you know 
Uh, next, we get another photo showcasing the actual boots. I can see the polo text right on the front there. That's actually very well done. I was kind of worried when they mentioned that there was going to be, where was it, uh, polo lettering at the toe. I was like, mm, is that going to be on the toe box? But no, it's right on the toes at the end there. That's really well done. I can't see the flag on the back and the front, but that's because it's not being showcased here too well. But they look nice. The color choice on them with primarily black, green, and then the red laces, very well done. Very well done with the color there. Ooh, there we go. We get to see another knit. We get to see another one. Can we get a better image of that? Can we get an even better image of that? It's kind of, you know, it's still too far away. There we go. That's what I wanted. That's the image I wanted to see. So we can see here what they say. Okay, while the American flag is featured on a mock neck. There you go. Mock neck or turtleneck. Uh, it's a little bit different in this knit. You can see that it's like a cross chain knit. You can see the chain on it. So it's going to be a very different fitting and looking knit compared to your like traditional uh, teddy bear knit. Uh, I, whether or not you like that is a different story. I do think this knit's really good. The iconic blue is featured here. A very common and iconic color for Ralph Lauren knits. I mean, hell, look, the only Ralph Lauren knit that I have is literally that iconic blue. So it's, it's everywhere. It's everywhere. Awesome piece. I really, really like this. Uh, I love uh, the American flag Ralph Lauren pieces. They're, they're really hard to come by. They're really, really hard to come by. Oh, okay. Next, we get the uh, iconic image there of someone playing. Uh, I don't. I can't remember what sport it is. It's not lacrosse uh, because lacrosse isn't played on horseback. I literally forgot the ho uh, the sport that they're playing. But there is the iconic logo that Ralph Lauren uses on literally all of its polos, and it featured in its large form on. It looks like a sweater. It doesn't look like a knit because it has a V-shape under the neckline and the cuffs and how it fits. It, it just looks like a crew neck sweater. It does not look like a knit in any way, uh, but it looks like it's embroidered, which, you know, thank you, kid. Thank you. That's just, that's exactly what I want to see. It, I love embroidery and doing a big graphic like this, embroidery I, and an iconic graphic. Amazing. Amazing. Kif, you're doing an awesome job. Uh, it looks like we can see a low cut version of the uh, suede boots featured here in it looks like kind of like a tartan kind of print on the upper it's very hard to see because it's so zoomed out obviously the photo is primarily focused on the upper here uh the pants work well like this is just a solid fit who, who did the styling for this maurice uh diallo amazing very well done with the colors and the background works really well and the skin tone of the chick wearing it just works really really well with it all Whoever's done this, they're very good at their job. They're very good at doing what they do. I like this. Yeah, really. Okay, that's better. Yeah, it looks like kind of like a, a tartan print on the upper. So it looks like the low cut ones don't just get a solid color like the high top ones do. Whether or not you're feeling that, that's up to you. But yeah, this is really solid. I like the crew neck sweater. I mean, I would have preferred it if it was a knit, but you know, you can't have knits throughout the whole collection. It's nice to have a bit of versatility. So I'll, I'll, I'll be, I'll accept a sweater. A sweater is a good choice still. We'll keep moving on. Ooh. Looking at the cuffs, the cuffs are ribbed. From a distance, it's hard to tell, but as soon as I see cuffed uh, or like ribbed cuffs, it's making me think it's a knit. Is it a knit? Let's get a better photo. It's kind of looking like a knit. I really like how it's styled here as well, especially with the chick leaning up against the uh, dark wood building. Very well done. It's a knit. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Damn, that's such a solid piece iconic a classic you know that when i think of ralph lauren this is what i think of and i love it this is really nice and with the button-up tee as well that's how i would wear it yeah damn oh man roddy fine call me up please how do i get this <laughs> this is such a solid capsule why did he have to drop this on us this is like so good and it's just like yeah it's coming out tomorrow too bad <laughs> Oh man, that's sick. Love this. Love this knit. This knit's really, really good. Although I think the photo was taken at a wrong time because one of her eyes are kind of closed here. Oh, unfortunate. But really showcases the knit. Love it. Love it. Oh, okay. Okay. We get the denim jacket showcased to us. What was it? Denim trucker. So it's in the trucker style. 
it was talked about doo -doo 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 -doo. oh denim trucker jacket i'm hoping this has a graphic on it because this has been a very graphic heavy capsule it looks like we get another knit as well yeah so we can see it under the denim jacket here and then moving on we can see it by itself so this one was different from the first one this one's a blue one and this one's done with it wearing like a looks like just a jacket over the top of it some mountain boots it's really hard to tell from this distance it's really hard to see what this bear is actually wearing hopefully we get a zoom in oh here we go okay so the teddy bear is wearing a huge over uh, like a huge raincoat uh done in the iconic polo colors we have um a button up with a tie and what looks like a vest as well suit pants and some mountain boots that would be a fit that's an absolute fit. I would love to see that. That is a very Ralph Lauren fit. Uh, and on a knit, ooh, 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 ooh. I love it. That's sick. No, that's awesome. Do we get to see the back of the denim jacket or the denim jacket in a close up? I'm hoping we have three more images. No, stop doing them so far away. I can't see. <laughs> it's an awesome photo. Like that would be a photo I would love to post on Instagram if that was me as the model. But I, I can see that we get a um an american flag on the back of it but i don't know if it's a knit or if it's printed or if you sorry if it's embroidered or if it's printed i'm hoping these last two images showcase it to us yes <laughs> yes kith coming in look at that okay so the american flag is embroidered it's like sewn together it looks like someone's like cut it up and sewn together but it's still clearly the american flag because the stars are in the corner the colors are there Ralph, wow that's a really nice denim jacket that's going to cost so much money oh my god that's going to be so expensive I'm, I'm like estimating that to be like 600 american dollars or minimum you know like it's going to be so expensive oh my god and there's the co-branded tags so as always as I've, i mean i can't really showcase it to you guys now but you have the iconic tag there you have the iconic Polo by Ralph Lauren, made in China. Oh, is it China or Chile? Probably China. Uh, Kith limited edition version though, with that extra tag underneath it. I love it. I love it. I love it. It's so good. Yeah, no, Kith, you have done an awesome job with this capsule. I love it. I love the colors. I love the pieces. I wish I could have it all. Ronnie, how do I get in contact with you? How do I get all of these upper pieces here? It's amazing. Um, if I had to go favorite piece, oh, that's rough. Um, favorite piece is either this knit here or the first knit. My least favorite piece, if I had to give a least favorite piece, it's probably gonna go to the horseback um, sweater nothing against it i praised it throughout the video but it's just like if i had to pick a piece where i'm like this is my least favorite i'm unfortunately gonna go with this one but wow that was a solid capsule it's releasing in yeah like less than 24 hours guys 11 a.m eastern standard time on the 11th of november 2020 uh, i want to hear from you guys do you like it do you hate it um let me know let me know everything you have to say about it down in that comment section below Oof, what a capsule to look at just before I have to head to work. I have to head to work in like half an hour. <laughs> and what a capsule to look at just before I have to head off to work. Um, we covered all the release details for it. So I'll say it again, 11 a.m. Eastern Standard Time EST, Wednesday, the 11th of November. It's uh, gonna drop in store and online. So be there on Kith's online store or go to a Kith in store pick it up there 250 pieces each though that's not a lot that's really not a lot so good luck to everyone if you are going to go for any of it um i love it it's like I, there's not normally a lot of ralph Lauren stuff that i like um because a lot of it's very generic but this capsule was very well done it picked out all the classic pieces that i think of when i think of ralph Lauren. It's very well done. Kith has done a very good job with this. Ronnie Feig has done a very good job with, job with this. I love this capsule. Kith has been killing it in 2020, guys, as we've been saying. Um, but I want to hear from you down in that comment section below. Do you like it? 
Do you hate it? What would you wear? What would you not wear? Are you gonna try and go for any of it? What is your favorite piece and your least favorite piece? Let me know everything you gotta say down in that comment section below. Now guys, if you want me to keep covering upcoming Kith releases, upcoming Ralph Lauren collaborations, um, everything like that, don't forget to leave a big old like on this video, comment in the comment section down below, and subscribe to the channel as we are trying to aim for 2,700 and now 40 subscribers because you guys smashed it out of the park when we tried to aim for 2,730 subscribers. You killed it. You absolutely killed it. We're going to try and aim for that new milestone of 2,740 subscribers, guys, before the end of November. We need like five subs. Now, I know all of you probably out there have like around like five mates or five people you know, including family members. Tell them to subscribe and hopefully before the end of November, we can hit 2,740 subscribers. That's everything I got to say guys, um, as I mentioned I've got to head off to work in about 20 to 30 minutes and then I will come home from work, I will edit and upload this video, I will write the rest of episode 10 and then I will try and record, edit and upload that, go to bed, wake up tomorrow on Thursday and record the supreme drop list for you guys, it's going to be a busy 24 hours, I'm going to be burnt out for Friday, oh no there's more releases happening on Friday, <laughs> don't even get a day off, that's okay. Oh, Saturday, Saturday and Sunday is going to be my day off, guys. It's going to be good. So uh, until that sneakers and stuff episode, until the next streetwear talk episode, until the next sneaker talk episode, guys, I'll catch you later.